Hi, my name is John Savage. I'm technical director and co-founder of Action Point Innovation Limited. Uh, in this short video, what we want to show you is the IoT Dev Kit, which is an IoT software that Action Point has built specifically to demonstrate the power of the Dell IoT Gateway 5500. We've worked in close collaboration with Mark Flanagan in Dell to make sure that it demonstrates as much as possible of the, the power of the gateway. The app itself is a universal Windows app and the, it uses this Texas Instruments sensor tag. So the Texas Instruments sensor tag is got a ball of about 15 sensors inside it, so accelerometers, magnetometers, barometer, accelerometers and so on. And this connects via BLE back into the gateway. And then the gateway then does some local monitoring and then it uses the cloud service to do alerting. And we'll be able to demonstrate all of that. While the app at the moment is a Windows Universal app, we will be building a version of it that runs on Wind River in the near future. So the app itself, just to talk you through, we've got four tabs on the top and we'll go through each of these in, in short order. What we see at the very start is that you've got Bluetooth connectivity, uh, so that means we're connected successfully to the device. And we also have cloud connectivity, so we're able to actually raise alerts if something goes wrong. So what you see here on this screen is a raw view of the data. So if I move the thing, you'll see our accelerometer values move pretty quick. In the IoT space, getting data is, I won't say easy, but it's relatively straightforward. The real power that the gateway brings is that you process that data locally and you convert it locally into real information. So instead of sending this raw flood of information up into the cloud, what you do is locally you listen to the data and you make decisions locally on it. So imagine, if you will, we're in a manufacturing space. So in a manufacturing space, you might use accelerometers like are in this device and put them on the side of a machine. Now every machine that's running always has a vibration profile, a vibration uh, shape. So in this scenario, we know that this is not vibrating right now, so we know your machine has stopped. Now if there's a small bit of vibration, we know that it's running. And that's good, that's fine. Now if the vibration starts to go a little bit out of whack, what ends up happening is we can raise alerts. So it goes high. And now we're kind of showing locally, do you know what, this has gone high, there's a problem. There could be a problem, you might need to send an engineer out. But now it's gone really bad, so we know it's gone critical. And as soon as it's gone critical, you know, it's flagged locally, but we're also connecting back via the cloud to raise an alert. So that's a text message coming in. And the text message, you probably won't be able to see it, but that's a message saying that on Thursday, blah, 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 the forming machine generated an alert, reason the machine critical operation level. So that's a text message came in, raised from the cloud, just from by virtue of shaking the device because the machine is out of whack. Like put it down, stopped again, a little bit of vibration, it's running normally. So you can see how the edge gateway is using the raw flood of information, which if we go back here, you'll see what the raw information was. So here's where it ran out of whack. Um, but that's not of no use to management, whereas knowing that the machine is running is what management are really interested in. And that's what the edge gateway does for you, is it makes those decisions locally and allows the decision making to be made locally, even if the network connectivity is not available. Absolutely solid in manufacturing environment. Another example of how it can be used is in a medical device scenario. So imagine a situation where you've got an elderly person on their own in a home and they just have one of these devices or something similar on their person. So as they're walking around, everything is fine. And essentially, if you roll it over, it says Jim has fallen over. Now, if Jim gets back up again, you know everything is good. But if you roll it over, Jim has fallen. The, uh, if Jim falls down, then basically the, the, the gateway is monitoring going, oh, Jim's not moving. Now, if Jim doesn't move for an extended period of time, we're going to have to get the emergency services involved and maybe do a 999. So you can see here the emergency services of Jim's next of kin have actually been notified. And oh, I've got a phone call coming in here. This is coming from the Edge Gateway. I'll put it on speakerphone now. Generated by the IoT so. kid. Dear Miriam O'Brien, on, on Thursday, March 3rd at 16.09, we detected a possible fall event for Jim. The emergency services have been notified. This is an automatic call. So, so that's... That's been triggered entirely by the Edge Gateway doing the Edge Processing. And what it did then is it used the cloud services to say, listen, Jim has fallen down, he's not gotten up again, raise an alert. And then from the cloud, it sent out emails, text messages, and rang the phone. So the power of what's going on in the Edge is fantastic at doing the local monitoring, even if there's no connectivity. And then once the cloud connectivity is there, it can raise alerts. So just to show you, if Jim gets up again, we're all fine. If Jim falls over, Jim has fallen down. And then the system is monitoring to make sure everything's working. Um, your setting tab is just simple settings and just going back to your raw information once again. So this is the, uh, the raw information that's coming off the device at all points in time. And the other tabs here show specifically what the gateway can do in different environments. 
Uh, thank you for your time and we look forward to hearing from you. So there, that's your raw data view in, in zoomed in mode. So you can see as I move my accelerometer, as it moves, I put it down and stops. And uh, if I do one quick movement, you'll see the accelerometer spike for a second. So this is your raw view in, in zoomed in mode. Manufacturing, again, you got your gears, you got your temperature. So as I start putting my hand over the, the device, the temperature goes up. Um, and then as far as the, the status goes, it just changes to normal as soon as there's any vibration whatsoever. Uh, medical device then, just to look at that for a second. So it's hard to read, but Jim's not moving as a text. I'm gonna move him again so we don't cause more phone calls to happen. I think there might be one coming in. Yep. We'll look at that. Um, so the medical device, you just see exactly the status of what's happening. So this is how the edge gateway is recording over time exactly what's happening. Not all of the raw information from this, but it's recording what's actually happening. And again, if Jim falls over, then it, it's recorded locally. And then finally, just the settings tab. And that's, that's, that is the IoT dev kit.